Today I'm going to show you how to animate with IBS Paint and an editing app. So the editing app I'm using today is CapCut. So first you're going to want to, of course, choose whatever size frame you want. I'm going to be doing a simple ball animation for the purpose of this video. So you're going to want to start by drawing whatever you're drawing. Then you're going to save the frame as a PNG, of course. Um, you're going to want to continue with this process. And the thing that people don't realize is that like, you can use stuff like flip a clip, but it can be a little bit hard if you're not looking for like really fluid animations. For example, animatics and stuff do better when you do it with this method opposed to using an animation app like Flip a Clip. And plus, you don't have to worry about the logo or anything. You can just do it all for free. And <clears throat> almost all of my animations I use, I do with IBS Paint and like an editing app like Flip a Clip. And also, you can like adjust everything like in the app so you can make your animation a little bit longer and fit better than if you were to use flip a clip the only things that you can only do it for up to 10 frames per second you can do it faster but you're gonna have to like save part of it and then speed that part up but it's a really handy tool for animation so once you're done with that going to now go into your editing app which for me I'm choosing CapCut because that's my go-to editing app you're gonna go to your photos you're going to choose multiple photos all of the frames that you had made in IBS paint you're gonna choose all those and This is also a really good cheap method for animation for people who don't have like a big animation budget. All my animations I do on my phone usually using this method. It's pretty simple. And plus you can like choose like multiple flames like in this one. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is copy a frame because I want to kind of like make the ball pop back up at the end. So I can easily copy that and you can easily copy frames which makes it a lot easier versus using the animation app because you can copy you can add on you can like do like 60 frames or so and make like a 30 second video which is impressive so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to press all of them and you're going to shorten them to one second to 0 0.1 seconds if you're looking for something a little bit more fluid but you can also change it and do it to fit your animation but i use 0 0.1 seconds when i'm looking for some fluid animation so um that's what i'm doing sometimes i also like save parts of them to speed up and edit to make it a little bit easier and you can also just press the split button for all of them it can make it easier when you have more frames but here is the full animation as you can see not too bad but i really hope that this helps you with all of this